a new and different perspective every week on LEGO sets, news, media, and more, you're listening to the BCC Podcast. Today is Friday, February 22nd of 2019, and you're listening to episode 184 of the BCC Podcast. I'm Ford, and here with me today is LQ. I'm trying to think of something interesting and relevant to say again you this week. You do this every time. <laughs> I know. It's a mistake. And it's getting old. <laughs> well, that mistake is sitting in my spot. I'm also here with Malurus. Well, hi. Uh, I'm not thinking of anything relevant to say at wow, the moment. Wow, you're all See, that's super even dull worse. today. Just, wow. Jeez. Last but not least, I'm here with Clenda. Congratulations, guys. Literally anything I say as an intro is superior to what you guys did. That is superior. Nice job. Thank you. Yeah. I need to think of a theme. The thing is, there's many things I could say, but then that'll just get into the episode topics too early. Yeah, you could just say something random next time, I guess. I, I don't know. I, I can never think I mean, of anything to say because I have to do the intro. This is, you don't have you to don't think have of something to, yeah. to say. You just have to introduce people. I know. You're a privileged lame. white boy, Ford. It's a longing. It's a longing ex- existence. Well, I can say that I'm ticked off at Lego for not knowing how to print on dark pe- dark pieces lately. And why is that? <laughs> like, why this is keeps that? happening. Like they were they print on like with Hanzo, um, Hanzo. his uh, you know chest printing. It has a skin tone printing, but it's so much darker than his arm that you don't even notice that it's supposed to be skin. I mean, you could huh. or it could just you, be like a tan. No, like for really it's not a tan. tan or a. Do you remember, did any of you see how horrible the face printing is on Lady Iron Dragon? Yeah, um, that was pretty, I have avoided it thus far. That was pretty tragic. It's really horrible, <laughs> and they haven't corrected that. They didn't correct it for that new Overwatch uh, minifig. What was it? The the angel one? Huh, Mercy? That, yeah, I think that's what it yeah, was. Yeah, I haven't seen Mercy yet, but if, yeah, if it's like with Hanzo yeah. here, it's going to be the same, and that's really disappointing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and they're still doing it with so, the the Batman figures. So the Batman ones aren't. Wait, Batman is primarily skin tone, though, isn't it? Yeah. No, it's um. I think I don't know. On the Lego Batman minifigs, like the 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 movie ones, I guess you could say, mm. uh, they're the skin tone ones. But then the comic variants are printed on black. I swear the comic variants were always a skin tone head with a white stripe printed on it. They used to be, but they switched like a couple years ago, I'd say. Huh, I've not seen one of those. I have one, but it's terrible, so I swapped it for a regular head. It feels like it should be such an easy solution if it's not printing right. Change how you're printing it. I don't know. Maybe they just don't have the option to. Like, maybe they can't get a lighter color. The technology know. exists, I'm sure. We have the technology to print dark or light colors on a dark Can surface. Can we rebuild him, too? Better? Yeah. Faster? Stronger? No, I don't take that excuse like people like they can't do it. Well, if it's bad, then they need to invent a way to do it better. It's, you can't just say, oh, well, they don't have a way currently to do that. Well, then make a way. That's not an excuse. Well, I mean, I don't think there's actually been a statement from LEGO about it, has there? There hasn't been. Yeah. They haven't said any, They haven't acknowledged that this issue exists, but it seems to be getting worse and worse lately. <laughs> like, even Firstborn's eyes, which are printed, it bugs me that the red printed on there is darker than the red on the bricks. The I that, really think it should be the, the same. The printing that ticks me off the most is, like, the one where it kind of looks all runny, like it's bleeding all over the place. I haven't had that in a while. Yeah, it it kind of looks like... Now, I will s- say like is- it, took, it looks like someone took their thumb, licked it, and then, like, smudged it all over, and it looks terrible you know what is interesting though is like i've got the new garmadon which you know doesn't use the movie face print but uses the original Mm -hmm. garmadon face print in comparing to the original one these colors actually print way better on the minifigure now it's way easier to see the details on the figure that's good that's good which makes me confused about why there's all these other examples (laughs) where it doesn't work the same with actually uh the pixel samurai x from last year that one is white on black and that one looks all right. 
So some of them actually do come out all right. Okay, the white's not perfectly white, though. But it is much, much closer than the yellow or the skin tone gets to the skin tone and yellow on the minifigure. Not bad. So I really think that's something they need to fix quickly. I actually haven't talked about this Hanzo minifigure either, and my very mixed thoughts on it, because it doesn't feel like a Hanzo, or Genji minifigure, sorry. Because it's good, but it doesn't feel like a Genji minifigure. But we've got too much else to talk yes. about today. I'll because, do a video on Because Toy Fair was just, like, I think it was just this past weekend, right? Yep. And it dropped all kinds of stuff. Not as much as it used to, it yeah. seems like. Honestly, like, Toy Fair overall wasn't all that exciting this year it's like e3 though at this point they have the internet they don't need a fair yeah, once a it's year like to last year we got harry potter back and everybody was like yes and this year they were like was that a big whatever deal? No, it wasn't just Star last Wars. year <laughs> was it i don't know maybe it yeah, was this year was kind of like the last yeah. year for lego actually this year was bigger for me than last year we actually got some new stuff we got a new theme which yeah, that is that is true. Well, I mean, we technically got a new theme last year with Harry Potter, but whatever. Um, Wait, what was the new theme last year? Technically. What was technically the new theme? Harry Potter. That's not new. That's just bringing it was back bringing it the back, theme. There's but a difference. it was new in the sense that it was new stuff coming out for it. Uh, that's not and the same thing. And it was thing. under Otherwise... a different branding of Wizarding World, so it's technically a new theme. Nah, really. They still had, like, a Fantastic Beast set, so... Oh, yeah, they had Fantastic yeah. Beast sets. Not They're under the same too, umbrella so. with the Harry Potter sets from last year. So... So, yeah, that wasn't as big. It wasn't. <laughs> I think this year's bigger. But before we get to that, uh, we were talking about Lego Ideas, I guess, two weeks ago now. It doesn't feel like two weeks. But... Yeah. Lego Ideas the Flintstones has been officially revealed. For some reason. Eh. What do you mean for some reason? We knew this was coming for a long time. No, I know. It's just... I don't know. It's just never been my thing. Well, it's very iconic. It is iconic, I get that it's definitely. iconic, but it's just kind of like... Okay. Me and... Cool. I think me and Mal might know the most because we both... Grew up watching Boomerang for a ton of time. Yeah, the Flintstones never really struck me as, like, something I wanted to watch, but it was on at convenient times, so it was something I did watch. It was on just before <laughs> the Jetsons at, like, 5.30 every weeknight. Ugh. Even worse, the Jetsons. <laughs> no, I like the Jetsons. The Jetsons is better. Ugh. Well, we can discuss this later. I was, like, but, so uh, young when I watched them that I don't really remember either of them that well. Like, specific well, you... episodes, I mean. I remember the general, like, you know, the, the framework of of the shows, but... Well, that's because yeah. Flintstones and Jetsons were kind of trying to get a more adult audience Oh, yeah, time. I mean, it used to air at prime So time. they're not, like, <laughs> so... exactly geared for kids but mm -hmm. uh so to say it was basically like the simpsons of its time mm -hmm. and i mean which for how tame it is is saying something <laughs> <laughs> oh i didn't realize it comes with the rack of ribs and does that make it better does no really. make it better it's not a bad set at all it's a good set rack. it's not a bad it set is. but rack of... where hang I on mean... where's the rack of ribs it's on the side of the car. Oh, in the that's so cool. I like it. I like in that. In fairness, so, I think that this is everything that a set about the Flintstones well, ought to be. But not it quite. doesn't and have a Pebbles few... and Bam Bam. That, yeah, that was a very glaring omission from the original ideas, the lack of Pebbles Actually, and Bam Bam. Actually, the original Bam, ideas which... did have it. Yeah, yeah no, I, that's what This saying. lacks from the original idea. Yeah. Which is strange, too, because they were probably the most marketable characters. They continue to sell cereal. They also had Dino. Well, but yes. Dino, I can understand being cut out, because they don't make new molds for Lego Ideas sets. Well, the and problem with, like, the uh, not including Dino, though, is, like, there's no dinosaurs in the set. Like, it might have been forgivable if they had, like, the abused uh, 
bird they just pull on and it would oh, yeah, be like... Yeah, why don't they have that? It's lacking like any of those gags and it feels Aren't the like... bowling pins actually supposed to be dinosaurs in the show? <laughs> no, those are just racks. There might have been dinosaurs one time. Aren't they I mean, bones? they change stuff for the gags, so mm-hmm. it, it depends on the episode, really. But it's like... Now, they're here's the lacking thing, in any can... like prehistoric animals, uh-huh. which was a big part of you know the Flintstones. Y- you can so. still technically populate this with dinosaurs. Jurassic World is still a thing, but, but that's not, not the same. The same. Okay. Flintstone dinosaurs coexist with humans yeah, as their slaves. I know that. As they're abused. We spent like an hour the other night trying to figure out like this contradiction I had from my memory where Dino was talking, but apparently it's after his first appearance where he you know just acts like a dog. But it acts like hmm. it's his first appearance. Like Yeah, and he talks and he has like an accent and everything and he's really smart and then he basically makes Fred and Barney want to commit suicide, apparently. <laughs> what? <laughs> Do go on. Oh. This was the 60s. It was a different time. (laughs) But, yeah. Like, I I think the lack of any prehistoric animals, even if it were just a smaller... I don't know why they didn't use just, like, the dragon. You know, the dragon post from Harry Potter in, like, purple for to be the bird? It could have been, you know? Like, something like that would have given it a bit more, like... Yeah. Oh, you mean like the Norbert mold? The Flintstones. Yeah, the okay. Norbert mold. Yeah, that would make sense. Could it maybe printed eyes on it? Make it a little bit the more. The original pretty? idea said I believe also had that. Huh. But other than that, I think the minifigures came out good. Both Fred and Barney, I believe, use a recolor of Emmett's hair. Mm-hmm. Hmm. <laughs> and then Wilma uses, I believe, the waitress hair from the collectible minifigure series. Um I Honestly, don't know. <laughs> I don't know what hair piece that is. Yeah, but they're hair pieces that haven't been seen too often yeah. before. So now I've seen that Black Widow kind of uh, hair, like a lot in that color. So uh, whatever. Has it come in that color? Yeah, I have at least one. I think. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. I also like about this model. I like models that look good for more than the direct front. Oh yeah, the interior you is said great. That a lot. I like how they use the little like cloud, um, I guess, tile for the table. Oh, you're right. I didn't yeah. even know. I didn't even know about that element actually. Yeah, it's from the Unikitty sets, I think. Yeah, it makes oh, sense. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. yeah. I like how they yeah, do Unikitty the curtains did have as a well. theme. I like that technique. I'm gonna have to steal that one. <laughs> All right, any other comments before we move on? I mean, I know you're going to disagree, but shouldn't Barney be short? Like, he's a giant in this set, essentially, compared to what he's supposed to be. Yeah, they could have used the short, movable legs. Yeah, I agree. Mid legs all the way. Yeah. Should use them. And they can still do printing on the mid legs. Like, they... Yeah, we know they can do that. printing, too. So. Now, whether or not that they can do side printing ideal. remains to be seen. I'm sure they can still do that, though. But dual... I don't however, think even necessarily however, needed. However, I think what um, kept the dual mi- uh, the dual molded legs from... Or, sorry. The, the mid-legs from this was the dual molding. They have dual molded mid-legs. Do they? I haven't seen them. I believe so. Hmm. I thought they did. I thought one of the Harry Potter nope. figure has them. No. I swear they did. Oh, I have oh, all oh. of them, and I can tell you they don't. <laughs> huh. They had the regular legs in dual molding. They had the small legs in dual molding. They don't have the mid legs in dual molding. If they can do regular and small, I don't see any yeah, reason. I don't see any do reason mid. why they can't do it either. But since the technology is, I guess, relatively new... I guess they didn't want to push. We talk about technology as if putting two types of plastic in a machine is revolutionary a technology. Like this. I don't know. I don't know, man. All right, well, let's move on to our next thing, which is also Lego Ideas related. The uh, Lego Ideas second review, which we touched on briefly, I think the sets that were in the running for that, or not? No, I'm thinking of a totally I don't think different so. one. 
We did that like a long time ago. Anyway, the Tyler second 2018 reviews. How many are there? Two or three reviews per year? Uh, I think there's at I, least four. Know. Maybe Man, three. Man, they're, they're lagging know. behind. This is the second, I believe. But anyway, we have two winners from this Lego Ideas review. The first one is Steamboat Willie, which I did not think would win because I thought Disney was technically an ongoing theme uh, with the castle. Know, but I mean, it won, so you can just whistle to your heart's content. <laughs> Honestly, with the size of it, I will probably end up getting it. But what I about those Disney fees? Disney, Shh. they don't really <laughs> exist. <laughs> Remember, it's not like the Disney... Were the Disney collectible minifigures pricier? They weren't, were they? I think they were. I don't know. Honestly, the model isn't too much to write home about. I hope the designers actually make this one a yeah, bit better. Yeah, I, I <laughs> agree. I, hope so. but I think that if they do, they're going to probably make it bigger, actually. Here's the thing. I don't know how much. I hope right? they retain it. But I think if they made mm-hmm. it this size, they'd also either have to... Of course, they'd have to increase the price to usual because it has all the smaller elements because they got to make it like yeah. perfect to every single detail. But I'd also do. like them to include more than just a mini or, or a Mickey mini, minifigure. <laughs> like include. I'm not sure who else you include. If you included a mini, though, you'd have yeah, to give I'd her say the classic include hat. Maybe a mini, but but no, they should be bold for that. Possibly, well, they had Pete in it. Possibly include a Walt Disney minifigure. They had Pete in which one? In the cartoon, you mean? Well, in the cartoon that this is from, then they had several different barn animals or farm animals or whatever you want to call them. Yeah, but all of those, I can't see how they do any of them without a new mold. Uh, they could do the parrot, probably. Isn't there a parrot minifigure? I still want or that. Uh, well, there though. is. I'm they not sure if they can print eyes big one. enough on it. I'd like to get a minifigure of the cat that Mickey abuses. <laughs> <laughs> which one? <laughs> There's only one in this cartoon that he abuses. Uh, if you count Pete as a cat, then... Which, which is true, technically, so... Uh, this one. I want this No, cat. I know, but... But Pete is still technically a cat. Has anyone yeah, caught on to the fact Though, that this It's debated, I remember... Trouble. It's debated if this is the same Pete. Is it debatable that what, Ford? Is it, is it debatable that this Mickey is shirtless? No, Mickey. He has always Mickey's been. Always been shirtless. He's been. He's gloveless, if that's what you mean. I'm kidding. <laughs> he has no gloves, which makes it difficult yeah, that, to see that, what his oh, yeah. hands are no doing. No gloves thing on this Mickey is kind of startling to me. He's. I never even it's realized weird. that Steamboat Willie Mickey had no gloves. I don't know. This is like one of my favorite Mickey incarnations. I'd buy this probably this it's for the minifigure alone. No, he didn't have gloves. <laughs> I never noticed though. I just know him for what he is. <laughs> See, this is why it's my favorite Mickey incarnation. It keeps one. you double taking. But there's another uh, set that made it past the, rev- the review. <laughs> but is it as classic and iconic as this one? I don't know. Like it's, 60%. It's a Friends <laughs> set, but not that kind of Friends. No, no. Darn. No. It's the Central Park have- Coffee Friends. You know what I'm mad about now? Wasn't there one an office one that got through? At one point. Yes, and that didn't make it. And why is Friends getting through but The Office couldn't get through? The content is the exact same. Yeah. Then why are you complaining about the Friends one getting through? Because Office no, is better I'm not than complaining Friends. About friends with... Come on. He just yeah, the Office He's not complaining friends. about Friends getting through. He's complaining about The Office not getting uh, through. Also, we already have Friends. I'm talking to them. <laughs> nah, nah. <laughs> Yeah, so it's interesting that they're getting... It's a rather large set, too. It is. I honestly would not have picked this one to get through because there are a lot of other sets in here that, honestly, I would have put in before Mm -hmm. Friends. I don't think I would have put any of the other ones in before this. I would have just said the Steam of Willy one. The chocolate one, no. We're done with space for Lego Ideas. We've gotten way too many. Um, Sorry, Elon. Speed Champions, one literally has a name, a current Lego theme in the name. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Mexico City, that we already have that theme going on with the Lego architecture. Mm. And then we got another car. Yeah, everybody was like, I want the Fiat. 
Why can't we have the Fiat? It's a Fiat. We just Fiat. Sucks. It's actually on this list. We just got another Lego car right now. Lego's releasing cars all yeah, the time. Well, we it might is. talk about that as, later. As far as we know, they're already planning on making this car. Yeah. And then we also have the Ultra Fan. I don't even know what that is. Why would you want to buy it? It's a jet it. engine. I'm not sure. I guess Does it I, work? it's like ooh. If it works, I can see I'm going to get a Lego wind turbine that's the size of my house. Gee, you're so Yeah, cool. these are the only two these are the only two that really make sense mm-hmm. out of all of them. Like a chocolate dispenser? Though someone really? said that the M&M's chocolate dispenser, though, would be a mess. It wouldn't be a mess. It's their M&M's. They were made for this. But what if they melt? <laughs> uh, they don't do that. Not like that. Not I have a dispenser hand. that is but just like, like that in this room. No. The, the, the problem is, like, you can't sell the candy with the dispenser in this case yeah that's another yeah. issue with that's it. probably why it didn't get and, through, and then like honestly. you know like would have to partner up with some kind of candy dispensary to you know mm-hmm. put it all together and it would have just been a mess literally and figuratively yeah so yeah i think these two did make the most sense though i i would have said steamboat willie or none would be a more likely answer than friends which, well at uh, least you got one just... so i guess you can't complain yeah yeah <laughs> Yeah, I am happy about Steamboat Willie, but it just, the fact that Friends got through, I thought, like, Lego, after the Big the, the Big Bang Theory already said, like, The Office, if we're talking about, like, content, is way cleaner than Big Bang Theory. <laughs> Honestly, I think that The Office is even cleaner than Friends. Overall. I haven't seen that much of Friends, so I wouldn't know, but I know, like, I from what seen I've seen, they're about... Friends is, like, if I were to, like, scale the raunchiness, like, Big Bang Theory is, like, the raunchiest... Friends is like one rung down from that, and then the office is like probably like two steps from the bottom of the hill, if you know what I mean. So yeah, it, like there's again, some though, I don't see why stuff the office, office is also but, you know. more popular than Friends. I think. Mm-hmm. I mean, like I, the in only the thing I can think of is that... probably, but you know what? Just let them have well, it. Well, yeah, the modern days when we're selling these sets. Yeah. But Friends has Who lasted, the to like, a while, while know. The Office is a bit newer in comparison, I guess. So, maybe they're saying But I think The Office is a much safer more recent bet. fame. So. Mm-hmm. Well, The Office is, not is like, a decade old at this point. Really? Wow. I'm so old. I'm trying to think. So, NBC Universal has the rights to The Office. Does Lego do any other themes? With I'm trying to think of what Lego's terms are with NBC. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Mm-hmm. NBC Universal. Okay, well, they own DreamWorks. Lego doesn't do any DreamWorks. But that's more Unless recent that thing. Shrek Universal thing. Studios franchises. Oh, E.T. Ah. And they just did an E.T. thing. Yeah, and they, they also have Jurassic World. So, yeah, they're working with Universal. But I guess Jurassic World is their only venture together at this point. And E.T. So, well, they haven't done anything else with E.T. And Back to the Future. Or Back to the Future, aside from a brickhead. So that's a fair amount. Yeah. So, yeah, why? that's the only thing I could think of. I have to go back because I actually hadn't seen The Office when that project was in play. Mm-hmm. But... It just doesn't make sense to me, because I know Friends, I believe, is way more popular, at least on, like, YouTube and stuff, people talking there definitely will recognize The Office more than Friends, <laughs> and generally, The Office is more well-regarded. Not to, I can't really tell what this set has in it, to be honest, though. It's a coffee shop. Picture. That's all it is. Okay. It's just another one of those facade kind of sets. I mean, I like sets like this, that you just know, like, normal human settings. Mm-hmm. Because we don't get a lot of them. Yeah, the whole point is like... And I want every... pictures of the Lego City ha- donut you've shop. You've seen Friends, though, right? Or, or have you not seen it? Some. Yeah, they, they start never, off like, almost every episode it. with them sitting around in this coffee shop. I understand that. Like, having they a, have a conversation and all that, so... This has got to be upward of $100, oh, though, for this building that size. Maybe. Unless they decide to scale won't it down, which, like, I, get... I won't fault them if they want to just, like, maybe cut off, like, a piece of it. And just sell like the the round. They, table they'll probably scale maybe, it down like, a little bit. They probably want it closer to what Big Bang Theory was. Yeah, I'm yeah. thinking they'll do that. <laughs> yes, I'm trying to. Did the Office one really get through to review? I I don't no even idea. remember. I recall it getting through to review. 
Mm. Wishful thinking. Well, no, actually, if it hasn't, I, and I'm actually happier about that because then we can go find one and get it going. <laughs> I will buy that, like a hundred and fifty dollar Lego office set. I will, I will get that. With every single character. <laughs> Yes! <laughs> Can you imagine how great... Would they include, like, every from every season, or they include just, like, the classic cast? I would hope or... just the classic cast, because, like, you know... But there's some good characters in the later seasons that I really I mean, like, like, too. Like, Andy, okay. Nerd. But, yeah, then... It... Let's see. Andy, Aaron... Yeah, there's the ones I really care about, but I feel like they should be included. <laughs> but, Aaron... yeah, I really like... Aaron's, like, one of the funniest characters on the show. Is. Yeah, I don't like Gabe. You can oh get right, rid of him. Oh no, Gabe! I forgot. Gabe is hilarious. Gabe is so boring. <laughs> no, he's, <laughs> he's absolutely such a hilarious. Square. He reminds me of myself. What the heck? Did anyone else do that? that? <laughs> what the heck? My ear. I don't know if that'll show up on recording, but what the heck was that? What happened? I'm curious whose audio that was in. It sounded like a banshee. Just did you got hear Ford? No. Right up to my. It was probably no. It was Ford, Ford then because. <laughs> What did I do? <laughs> yeah, I do. I don't know how to describe it. I'll have it was, to see if again, it, it sounded like a banshee it later. just came up to my seizure. Just attention? screamed. That was weird. No. <laughs> All mm. right, I guess that means it's time I'll, to I'll move keep on. My voice down. <laughs> okay. All right, we have a new theme to discuss: Lego: The Hidden Side. Oh yes. Such fun. Yes. Now, um, the first thing about this theme, it is a full theme. However, it's a full theme with a gimmick. Uh, yeah, it's a, yeah, it's a gimmick yeah, based yeah, That those. worked out so well for Nexonites. But this one is about smartphones and stuff. Yeah, yeah that worked it's, out a, so it's well a better gimmick Nexonites. than Nexonites. <laughs> yeah. So this one is so. AR. Yes, yeah, it's, it's augmented reality, like the sets you put them together and the phone interacts with them and play a little game. Though, I actually, I think I would have liked this better if it didn't have the AR stuff in it, just because I like the newer, you know, more unique aesthetic they're going for with it. Mm-hmm. I mean, you don't so, have to have the AR. You don't, but like a lot of like the pieces that are built into these are built in specifically yeah, like for the AR. Yeah, like you in like specific colors, I guess. So they could have just like rounded out and the then like the set better without it, like a facade for whatever the game is. I mean, yeah, I get and what people are saying. You don't have to. I can still have it without the AR, but I'm just saying I think it takes away yeah. from I mean, like, the some sets of are the fine designs without it. Like, let's go through yeah. each one of them. Start with the smallest though, here. The, prices the lab are a bit much. Oh well, that's another thing. That's why I said the price. This is going to inflate the yeah. price. Because you're paying for the game like, as well. Yeah. Not only, like, you're paying for the game, of course, but, like, it's one thing for uh, this, like, this first set is $20. It's it's a lab, 174 pieces. It is three minifigures as well, though. Yeah, but, like, that's pretty much run-of-the-mill for $20 sets. Um, but so It's it's a little yeah, bit it, it just, pricier, like, but it's not horrible. For what you get, it doesn't feel like it's a $20 set. Whoever put up this display put the little scientist minifigures goggles on <laughs> sideways. <laughs> Which, like, what is that? Maybe it's a stylistic color. decision. Well, they've talked about, like, in several of the models that have shown up at New York Toy Fair in the past have had, um, like, preliminary or 3D printed pieces because they didn't have a full set oh, ready. Wow. But, like, that color hair. But there's a lot of pink cool pink. designs here Which in this one, set. The For one, the pinkish or the green? Yes, both of them. The pinkish one. Okay. Oh, the green one, though, actually has the first recolor of Movie Kai's hair, is which it? is cool. Oh, wow, it, it is. It has it in the That's spring green. Cool. I do like the shape. I also that. like that hood hat combo that kid's got going on. Oh, yeah, that's also new. I like it. Yeah. I'm pretty sure, are the scientist goggles new or is that a recolor of an older mad scientist hair piece? I think that's a dual mold. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah, it is a dual, dual mold, mold, but I know we've gotten goggles and hair before. I don't no, know if this is new. new. Goggles. Okay. What's the doggy piece? That might I also assume be it's new. a dog. Oh, it I think we've like gotten it? that piece I mean, before, it's... but it's really hard to see because it's a white piece on a yeah, white table. Yeah, in some yeah. angles, it looks like a seal. Yeah, at first I thought it was a ghost or trans 
translucent piece, but it's not. There's a better picture of it in the graveyard. I think mm-hmm. I feel like we would have gotten this. We've gotten a lot of dog pieces with friends and stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But uh, what I really do like for the design, I love how they did those um like beakers or not beakers, I guess, but there's those jars of goo on the upper left. How they have the transparent on top and then the solid on bottom to represent like partially full oh, yeah. jugs. Yeah. That is nice. So it kind of looks like I they, thought that was really. It kind of cool. looks like they're bubbling at the top because of the studs. Mm-hmm. At least I think that. Also, so, every I'm not gonna get every because... human character has a phone. Yo, like, yeah, we're really that's in that. Be like the... we're, we're in that stage where every no, it's Lego because character those characters has are, to have a phone. The whole now. thing is you're supposed to be like the characters in the game. I know, I know, and that you're using your phone. So the next one up is the boat or the boat. <laughs> yeah. Yes. What's it? Buoyancy operated. Aquatic transport. Something. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that was such a good show. Mm-hmm. All right. So. What? Some first things to point out here. Have we gotten the kayak in yellow? Uh, uh, I do not know. We, what else has had a kayak in it? Come to think of it. Um. I know this is. Oh a boy! New looking piece. at the. Yeah, I don't think it is either, but getting a better angle of the dog from this now, I think that is a new yeah, piece it because it like has this ghosty stuff in it. Does it? <gasps> oh, look yeah, at, it also, has look some, at like, someone translucent filled. to it. Mm-hmm. That's kind of cool. Also, look, they failed at applying the stickers to this Wait, boat. Wait, does this Even mean the it's like Schrodinger's dog? <laughs> like, is it alive but also dead? I don't wow. know. Where's the sticker supposed to be? I can't see it. The, the on the wood on the wood, side of the yeah, boat. It, oh, it's kind of sticking the... off. I of thought it. you were talking about the banana boat. No. That There's is... yeah. also a crocodile and tan. Yeah, yeah, I believe. Have we gotten a crocodile and tan nope. before? I, I know we haven't with this so. printing. We have not. It we might have gotten really the old good. crocodile and tan. No, this is the this new is one. New York. I can tell. Yeah. It's got like red eyes. That's kind of cool. Yeah, it's a cool mm-hmm. piece as well. Um, not much else in yeah. this set. This ghost dude, like this ghost pirate dude in the orange. Oh yeah, the like ghost. This, I don't think I have a picture like, for the podcast. Forearm that. tendril thing going on. I believe that's new, but that's a really cool piece, yeah. and that I'd like to see that redone, recolored for Venom and Carnage. Yes. <laughs> also, he has the cutlass in spring green. Hmm. Is that hat piece new? I think it is. I don't think so. I feel like we've gotten the rain hat piece before, it cool. but it could be. Oh, yeah. Also, they've got the beanie hat with long hair in this Why set. Why is your hair purple? In, from, everyone's hair is colored in this, except for the men who don't have hair. <laughs> I feel like that's a statement. Wow, we're just getting sort. shafted. Jeez. Uh, it's, the same, it's the same girl, though, isn't it? Is in the previous set? No, I don't no, believe no, in so. The, in the second and third set, it looks yeah, the same, but the she's got the same I, We haven't gotten color. to the third set. Well, she's the same hair color as the scientist in the first one. I don't know, man. Is it? Yeah. Okay, it is, but right that one, that is. hair is way shorter in that one. I'm trying to see if she's wearing the same... Uh, sh- she's wearing a specific colored shirt under the Now, wait a minute. So this set and the, the next set are both the same price. It definitely has different printing for the okay. face, too. So. Yeah, so, so the next set is the graveyard. The graveyard, this is my least favorite so far. Yeah, this one feels... Th- and it's not just because I don't like graveyards. Well, this one... <laughs> well, I mean... Why don't you like Who graveyards? doesn't like graveyards besides I don't like graveyards. I, they make me uncomfortable. Why? Because I don't know. I don't like... of his mortality and how he will die very, very no, soon. No, 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 not that. No, I don't know what it is. It's just seriously, I don't like. I don't like haunted houses. I don't like scary movies. I just don't like so that now kind we of know stuff. Where Anything to go like graveyard next looking. Perfect. We're not going Ooh. to the graveyard. Why not? No, a haunted house. We need to a real oh, haunted oh. house. No, de- I would not want to. I mean, I would do it. It's not like it scares me. It just makes me really uncomfortable. I know how it is. Um. But yeah, I feel like this this set like this set really like encompasses how bare bones some of the sets Mal, feel. Mal, you don't actually 
Yeah, why going to a haunted house is not even close to the equivalent of going Scooby Doo. Being Scooby Doo would be going to Brick Fair and then some weird situation mystery happening to us, which is actually like eighty percent likely to happen to us just because it's our life. That's more like the later <laughs> Scooby Doo, the original Scooby Doo show. That they're just driving around all the time, and then they stop when they see a haunted house. Well, maybe if we get a van, it'll happen. Well, then again, Wait, all I have the houses SUV are basically haunted. Five, so does that make me Fred? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> Fred is the bland one. The what? The bland one. I am pretty bland. Oh, I thought, I thought you said... I Although thought you said I am bling, a winner. which I thought... No. So, so that's, that's also true. All right, let's talk about the graveyard. Oh. I thought you said you didn't want to it's do that. It's very We're boring, for you, man. It, yeah, it's boring. <laughs> That's why I said not just nothing. because I don't like graveyards. Also, it's the same two minifigures as before, mm-hmm. in a set that's the same price. I think it's the same two in all of them, actually. Yeah, uh, it might be. Maybe it's like different um, faces. Okay, it's the, the same one, guy the in the truck. First one's like truck. ten dollars less. I do like this possessed and, guy. Whoa, it is the same like guy with the hat in yep. every one of them so far. I do far. like this possessed looking guy with the hair. He looks kind of cool. Um, and getting back to the graveyard. Why is there... I don't see their possessed looking guy in the you graveyard. Oh, that one. Yeah, he's got like a, it's a different string picture. green key. I really like how their ghost... Oh, ooh, a key in spring green. <laughs> <laughs> now you're going to get it. Uh, also, okay. I love how this... Um, uh, angel thing on the gravestone has the can I talk to your manager hair? That's great. Oh, you're right. It does. <laughs> so out of all the monsters this could have gone for, you know, it's a graveyard. Ghosts, uh, you could do zombies. What's no, if up they're with, all like, ghosts in these yeah. sets. <laughs> but why is there like an ent in the background? Like... I don't see an ent. Yeah. yeah, there's kind of like I don't think the tree, a tree but I think it has it's like possessed eye tree things on it. There was one in the previous set. <laughs> All ents are possessed trees technically. <laughs> anyway, it's interesting also how these are literally taking uh, the ghosts from Ninjago and expanding yeah, on them. Yeah. But I mean like at least it can fit in with your Ninjago stuff. Like they could just be yeah, other lackeys. I mean, that was an amazing ghost aesthetic they did for those I sets, agree. so. I agree. All right, let's move on to the next Truck! set, unless anyone has anything they're dying to say about that. <laughs> yes, the truck. <laughs> it's just called truck. Oh, no. It's actually called Confidential Banana Van. All of these say banana in them, don't Do they? they? Really? Yeah, they all say banana. Oh, my goodness. That's hilarious. Yeah, I think the reason they're not saying this is all the names are confidential for these. But why banana? <laughs> it's probably a code name for the theme. <laughs> because no, they do that all the time. Like when a lot of these uh, companies, I remember I was watching it with uh, something with Pokemon the other day. How like every Pokemon has had a code name while in development. Well, yeah, yeah. But now I will never. Anyway, I will I fe- never stop thinking of this theme as the banana theme. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so first note I get with this one, though, is I'm really sick of this truck design because I feel like we've gotten, like, five yeah, trucks within the same Yeah, isn't this, like, the vein. same one from the Lego movie and the Lego Batman movie and the Lego movie, too? It's and, uh, Creator. And that, too, yeah. <laughs> this is very boring. The motorcycle is oh, cooler, yeah. though. Oh, yeah, and Spring Green Revolver. Yeah! Oh, <laughs> I didn't notice that. That's awesome. <laughs> Also, no, oh, the those green wings, man. Those wings. Is that also that's a new? Wait, that's a three D printed beard on the other biker. Is, it a, is that what it is? A beard? <laughs> yes, it's oh, a beard, but it's three D printed. It was. That's cool. That's really yeah. Cool. It's like a windswept beard, which will be awkward when they're just in standing position. But also, yeah, the weird thing is though that is definitely a three D printed. Like I said, they've been known to have preliminary pieces mm-hmm. in some of these. This is a preliminary piece in I, there. I kind of like th- this set. Honestly, like <laughs> besides being the most boring truck ever, it's it feels like it's the most robust set so far from this theme. 
Also, know? some of these do have better price for piece. We should be mentioning like the graveyard is three hundred and thirty five mm -hmm. for thirty, and the boat was three hundred and ten for thirty. Yeah. So those are more this in line with normal. This truck is four twenty eight for forty, which is not bad. It's still under ten. No. Also, though, I also love the new wing piece. Yes, I, I mentioned that again. It's something I love to see recolored a lot more. But also, oh, this that's set still really has cool the dog. I want to see it recolored in purple, transparent yeah, this purple. This set still has that dog. Ooh. You notice that? Yeah, the dog seems yeah. to be. It's. I think it's one of like the three main characters. I believe are going to be the girl, the guy, and that dog. I want to know who this daredevil this guy is. Like. That'd be cool. Probably a generic throwaway character. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know. He seems interesting. And the Nexo Knight Shield seems to be a sticker, not a printing. Sadly. Wait, where do you see that? Uh, uh, of course, though. If, yeah, I see it. Eh. That's like definitely a 3D printed beard, though, too. So I'm not sure if that'll be final or not. Yeah, that motorcycle just. The more I look at it, like bare bones. I can't unsee that. Whatever. I like the ghosts, though. Yeah. they're cool. The 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 enemies in this theme, they're pretty cool. I like them. No complaints. All right, next up, we're going to the diner at 598 pieces for fifty dollars. Yeah, I like it. This one's growing on me. Get a picture of it up here. <laughs> hmm. There we are. I like are. the crap aesthetic, you know? I don't like that we get the same minifigures, essentially, in most sets. But, mm -hmm. yeah, no, I just don't like that. <laughs> oh, the sign is so cool for the diner, though. Yeah. I love that sign. It is cool. The I crawfish. do like that. The actual diner itself, not that great. It, it kind of looks like you know a, what I do like though. It, it looks like an ap like what? apocalyptic kind of diner. It definitely is. I think that's the yeah. whole point of the theme. But I like what were you the saying, crab. Linda? I like the crab. Oh yes, I like that it comes with like sign. this normal guy to be like, you know, seeking. <gasps> oh yes, I forgot about this. I forgot about this. This this set's oh, amazing. Oh yeah, thing. It, I gotta it, get this, it. This guy's the one with the. Uh, the pepperoni reference. Darn, there's no pictures yeah. here. Yes, but that guy has a pepperoni shirt from Lego yeah. Island. What? Got the pizza on it. I've got to get that. I've got to get that, and I'll get it. And I'll get some uh, <laughs> short sleeve uh, red arms from Bart Simpson, rip them off, and put them on this, and put it on my sig fig. Did this set just go from mad to yeah? <laughs> I don't know. I'll, I'll at least get the minifigure from this set. Wow. This is just like me and I am not like going to miss out on Lego City Island. With, also, with I'm pretty Lover sure Doomsday. I know at least some of these <laughs> were had some hand by um, <laughs> Tooth Dominoes and Prince Galador uh -huh. on Twitter. Nick and Neek. Um, yeah. I cannot express how thankful I am for them being Lego designers because they're always throwing in so many cool Easter yeah, eggs. Yeah, like the Galador. Because the they're more <laughs> the of our generation. Sure, not just that, like this. I I would place money on this being them yeah, to have put it in. And, oh, man, that's amazing. Mm -hmm. Oh, you know what I just noticed? The, I guess it's like the waitress or something like that. She has a crab claw. Oh, yeah, the Davy Jones yeah. still exists, doesn't it? Hello there. Because remember, I got the Fly Guy collectible minifigure uh -huh. recently. I'm trying to find a good of the waitress. And, yeah, that had yeah, the Davy Jones now, hand as well. Does that crab claw, like, stick straight out? Wait. this one kind of, like, goes... Oh no, this in. is a different claw piece. This is a different claw piece, actually. Huh. <laughs> That's interesting. So I guess never mind, that mold's gone. <laughs> well then. Oh, there's also a notice behind it with the girl is there with another like I guess waiter. That, no, I think that's a chef. Oh wait. He has he, he has, has four arms. Four arms. Yeah. Oh. Mm. Well, that's sufficient for cooking, at least. Also, he has a uh, like a uh, uh, meat cleaver in, green. in. Very nice. Yeah. Oh, and look, the dog. Oh, you have to get it. <laughs> yep. <laughs> There's the. Yeah, there is what some cool surprise. stuff with this set. Dog? Oh, and the shrimp has little arms on it. And they do the whiskers with the Catwoman whip. Oh uh, yeah, that's kind of cool. I couldn't see that from the other pictures. That's so. cool. Yeah, there are some very cool elements to this set. So there's a lot of creative design going yeah. here, which I, I like. I like this one. However, I just don't think the diner looks like a diner. I guess from the back picture, it looks a little bit... There's more of an interior Yeah, I like to it, it, but, but... not for 50 <laughs> Like, it, it, it seems like you're getting like a, a lot here, but not for 50 You know? It, it's, like, aesthetic is definitely more a seafood shack than a diner. Yeah, it's more yeah. of a shack than a diner. So... 
I'm it's like the convenience why. store from Twin Peaks. It's very shabby. Do they have a convenience store set? That would have been a good thing to make a it's set. It's basically what this should be. It should just be a convenience store. Then we wouldn't get the shrimp sign. That oh. is true. That is true. I don't know. It could have just been a, like a butcher shop. I don't know. I guess that's not that's oh, not right. mainstream enough for phones. And a butcher shop doesn't sell seafood. That is true. A seafood shop sells seafood. Okay. Then. Fish market. Yeah. Let's see. So I next up fish. is the bus, but not the ones from Shield. <laughs> this All is right. uh, oddly Here's specific. The bus. Mm. It's not Fortnite bus, is what he was trying to say. It's not hot. There's mm. also a porta potty that's possessed. Which is. Now, cool. we get a pickaxe in spring green here. There's a bunch of ghost pieces just lying around here, which I don't understand. It's like someone didn't finish putting the model together. Uh, or they're mm, missing pieces. I think, like. Like, it looks like we have. So I think the, the spring green pieces are supposed to go onto, I guess, the road workers or whatever. Like, as an add on? No, I think there. Look, there's a ghost head there. I think we have an incomplete road worker ghost i don't know i'm guy. thinking they're supposed to possess the road workers but then also we have a new hair piece on the head on the bottom left like messed up long hair mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. also confirmed that those girls aren't the same character because all three of them are in this set oh uh, yeah what do you know mm. cool it has a possessed porta potty which is all right i like how the feet of it are traffic cones <laughs> 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 and has like teeth this is the one i really think suffers the most from the ar element because you miss on a lot of features you could have put in the bus by having like targets fold out also, of it those wheels are terrible like you got the big ones in the back and then like these tiny dinky little ones in the front like i get that it's, i, no I get that it's supposed honestly. to be like exaggerated but this is just ridiculous like that bus yeah, that bus looks it. like it's never gonna move <laughs> Maybe it's I'm not sure it'll supposed move. to. Oh, yeah, it's supposed to move. Yeah, it's a bus. Cause... Huh, the dog in this one also doesn't have printing. I believe the other dog did. It did, Prototype. yeah. It does not have eyes now? Question mark? Yeah, it's, I'm sure, like, I really like how they use, like, the shuri things with the uh, 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 yeah. drill bits and the they spring green. For, like, agents or something like that. Did they? Yeah. I don't remember agents. I think that it might have been honestly. Ultra Agents. Was that it? The newer one. It probably was Ultra know. Agents. That was the newer one. But anyway, this one I'm not sure if I mentioned is 689 pieces for sixty dollars. So pretty yeah. decent. Yeah. It feels small for the price, but it's not technically. I have a feeling some people All right, might next get it from up. the porta potty, but whatever. Next up, and there's no really good pictures of this one, is the train. Eh. Yeah. This one has train pieces, so obviously the price for piece ratio is kind of off Does it have track? by those. Does it come with that track? Yeah, yeah it comes with some track. Wow, that's better than Hogwarts Express last year. Because you see, it even has a piece that goes off the track. Uh, yeah, yeah, I see. It's even got like a station. Oh, that's kind of cool. This is a pretty big set um, overall. Well, yes, it's a ninety dollars set. But for the <laughs> amount of parts that are in it, it doesn't feel like it should be that. Six hundred and ninety-eight. But like I said, train pieces and those are large mm -hmm. chunks of plastic. It doesn't feel like it should have. I don't know. I can't get a good view it, for it, any of the pictures. It By the looks way, all a these lot pictures bigger than it from really the should fan. be. From the pictures that are. Oh here. wait, we have the. Uh, Okay, I'm not sure if this is intentional, and I'm trying to get a picture for the podcast here. But on the picture of the train station, we see, like, this woman with a lantern, which also the new Harry Potter lantern piece in Spring Green. Oh, yeah, green. I see it. But also, her face is upside down. What? Well, uh, it... How do you know that? How could that be unintentional? Because, like... They could have screwed up the printing if it was preliminary. Oh, wow. That's true. Well, yeah, what if it is intentional? Like... You know, she's still it possessed. Could be. And all that. 
It, yeah, it could I totally be like intentional, or right. it could it would not be, cool, be. But yeah, that hair piece in spring green yeah. is also I'm, new. Yeah, yeah, I don't think it's a new. A mold. Oh, the interesting. I think the the color is new, but the mold isn't. I think they used it in Ghostbusters. Yeah, they did using Ghostbusters, the original like Ghostbusters. It. Also, wait. Oh, I just know the other guy in the train has a really cool new torso print. Oh yeah. What's it? It's a banana. Do you see it? Yep, it's a banana shirt, but it's also a new casual torso oh, print, okay. which is so rare. <laughs> <laughs> I like that it's blue too. Not bad. So yeah, that's that's a good one because remember we were looking through last year for Brick Fair, like how little Lego shirts there actually yeah. Only are. Only casual shirts with logos on them. That's the problem. All right, and there's one more, the largest set of this wave, the high school. <laughs> Which is obviously haunted, like all high school. Which schools. is, this one's pretty good price-to-piece ratio as well, uh, 1,478 pieces for $130. Squids. Do you say squids? Yes, I said squids. Oh, yeah, squids? the squids kind of, yeah. versus the snakes? Look on the second picture. Squids versus the, it looks like cobras, maybe? I don't know. Some kind of snake. It's kind of cool. Oh, oh, on the poster. Yeah. I wish they had Fourth one has a close up. Oh here. wow! Okay, it has, I'm it seeing has organic here. chemistry, guys. All right, let's see okay. this. Let's see this. <laughs> okay, that that one A makes sense. B makes sense. Wait, is that a three or a two? I can't tell. Is that is that an H three C? All right. Well, we have other things. Something I noticed from like the third picture on this is we get another picture of a head with the hair, and I it makes me think these are actually supposed to only be heads with hair. Uh, they and are. And they put they them on the people to possess them. Yeah. They did a bad job That's what representing I was trying to get that. To before. <laughs> well, you didn't get your point across I guess clearly. Not. It's like brain attack. Or um, yeah, except alien you know, conquest was that it? Better with the things that went <laughs> yeah. on. Yeah. I didn't like Alien Conquest, but it was better than Brain Attack. Probably, like, I think I don't dislike Brain Attack more than any other wave of Hero Factory because Brain Attack Seriously? made me lose all hope in the theme. Yeah, because I really liked Breakout. And then I was like, oh, cool, they're building on it. Let's see what cool, creative things they're going to do next. And, like, the next one sucked. I still like Brain Attack, though. I didn't know that, that was your least favorite. Is that Einstein? Yes. It is. Which one That's did you so think cool. was my least favorite? <laughs> I don't know. Invasion it's not from something below. that I think about on a, on a day-to-day basis. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. So, this set has, a, like, a morphing feature. Kind of like the train yeah. did. Like, the train has a oh, mouth morphing. at the top. Or at the, the engine cab. Yeah. <laughs> this one has, like, <laughs> shredder claws <laughs> and this pop-out so eyes and, like, two Is this boots. a new color for the... For those uh, spike pieces? For the claws? I believe yeah. so. I don't recall. They might have been... If they were in something, they were in like, the Moro Dragon, which I never got. Wait, even the though it was spring... A cool set. Well, these claw pieces are from Bionicle and stuff. Yeah, but they are never in spring yeah. green. Shredder claws. <laughs> I would include a picture of that, but it's actually in a picture. I don't have enough time to take a screen cap of a video. I like how many minifigs <laughs> are in this. Like, it, it feels There's pretty well popular. Well, I would hope there'd be a lot for 130. Yeah. Like, they did not skimp. Like, this feels a like a good playset. I'm really not that big a fan of it because it's worse than a facade. Mm-hmm. I, I think, like, the top level is a bit shallow, but, you know, like... That's, yeah, that's what I mean. It's, like, really like, that's shallow. that's pretty easy to, to mod. I mean, from the other side, it, it has a nice aesthetic to it. Mm-hmm. So it's sort of like it's got the display side, and on the other side, it's got the play side. Yeah, but I I understand that. But like it is, I was saying earlier, I don't really like facades. I like mm-hmm. them to be viewable from multiple angles. I think this one achieves even that, if though. it is just two. I think everything could be. I don't a think bit more no. Like if you look at it from the side, though, the floor but... is jutting out. Which floor? The second floor. It's like or in the oh. first floor, they're like jutting out. So when you look at it from the side, you see those. Hmm. Huh. That's a shame. But overall, I like this theme. I like that Lego's doing a new theme. I don't think the AR thing's going to take off. 
Yeah, I think, Man, like... They yeah, absolutely never do. I, I feel like that's going to be a problem, though, for this theme to, like, keep going. Like, if the, AR, is, if not... the AR doesn't take off, then this theme is going to go down in the trash pretty they soon. They already designed an entire second wave of this, I'm sure. They're putting a lot... This is a lot of sets. I don't know. For, but if it doesn't pay off, then, like, Lego. that's another bit of money that they're going to, you know, drop on this, and they're not going to get it back. Yeah. I don't think they're... You see, I don't think a failed Lego theme necessarily loses money. I think, like, money. it'll I think probably, a lot of them... like, if we were to think about it like a movie, I guess, I feel like this is one that would just break even, but only just. I'm not actually sure how, what the, hey, you know, how it works with Lego themes breaking even, because most of the time when they're canceled, it doesn't necessarily mean that they sold poorly. Yeah, it's just like they didn't sell as well as other themes. <laughs> well, no, it could be true, actually, that Bionicle sold all right. But it just didn't sell as much as other Lego uh-huh. themes. Because remember, Lego themes aren't just competing with other toys. They're competing with themselves. That is true. That is true. Which makes it tricky. I want construction. So, back. it's not always when a theme is canceled because, like, <laughs> it did not are. make money. It's just because something else might be making them more money and they want that on the shelves instead. <laughs> well, I know, it's Ford. At this, I know. Ford, is, isn't it been, like, basically a year and a half? Yes, yes it has. Thank you. It's gone. Running. I'm not even sure. I don't think it's ever coming back at this point. Don't go there, please. If it does come back, it's going to be with a new system, not CCBS. It might just be brick built. And it's going to be in a long time. They're going to re- they're going to do it when they need to do something mm-hmm. new. And right now they well, don't I mean, need like, to. I mean, like, I'd rather it come back with a bang and be fresh and do well rather than just be bionicle and be kind of like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> I'm sure you look forward to your 45th birthday. <laughs> yeah, by then I'll be old and fat and hopefully I'll have kids. That'll make it better. I don't think it's a good idea to plan on being fat. <laughs> That's the way all the men in my family do it. By the time they hit 40, bang, gut. <laughs> it's I don't think inevitable. That's logical. Okay. <laughs> Well, we do have more things, but I think we're going to save them for next week because we're about because we wanted out of to end on that note. Mm-hmm. What do you know? Hey, you can add it. Uh, there's still room for like one more note. <laughs> what would you like me to note, my good sir? You're the one complaining. I'm not <laughs> going to solve this problem. <laughs> you solve all the other problems. Yes. I, well, when we're on air, though, I'm not the problem solver. What are I, you then? Are I you don't know. Each, I, try, I try to make some problems so it's more entertaining. Oh, that explains a lot, actually. I thought I was the one who made problems with the very terrible. Everybody not the same kind of. I, not, I said entertaining problems, Ford. <laughs> I, I'm not entertaining to you. No, your problems aren't entertaining. Oh, that is true. <laughs> I'm so bored. <laughs> oh yeah, something else that happened real quick that I haven't talked about on the podcast. I do have the Ultra Dragon Ooh. here, have you built oh, it cool. but I haven't built it yet. Amazon sent it in a box literally about 20 times the size of the set. <laughs> I burnt that box yesterday. Was it the Why? size of your house? Because I can't just keep boxes around. It's clutter. You can do stuff with it. I, you get boxes all can the time. Can you live inside the cardboard box? It was big enough that if I had to, I could. (laughs) I could sleep comfortably in it. So you're saying you could, like, rain seal it and all that? He burnt the proper amount of duct tape? Sure. (laughs) Portable house. You know, I'm sure, yeah, with a roll, uh, you know, two two to five rolls of duct tape in that box, yeah, I could have lived comfortably for about a week. Well, you don't want uh, duct tape. Yeah, you and there's also like this paper stuff like on the inside. Tape, right? So then I'll make a pillowcase out no, of duct no, no. tape my, and stuff it with the paper stuff. My thing is more: what temperature is it where you're living right now? Okay, well not here. <laughs> there we go then. That was. I could live comfortably fun. in like the summer. <laughs> okay, that was my concern. Or if you, you know, it's a portable home essentially, so you could just move further south. Yeah, over the weekend here, we're going to be getting a wind gust up to 65 miles that an hour. Fun. So nice. I would probably literally blow away if I lived in a box this weekend. Bring a skateboard, you'll weekend. go faster. <laughs> <laughs> or a bike. Direction? I have a feeling that it could rip my arms off to go kiteboarding. Oh yeah, that would that would be 60. bad. <laughs> Maybe like bring a bring a bike and you put a sail on the back. 
maybe? I don't know. No, it's not like consistently sick. It's Gus, too. Plus, I'll get hit with branches and power uh, yeah, lines. That, that could be bad. And? There might be tornadoes. You worse. might get like swept up and sent back in time or something. Well, there's not going to be tornadoes in you the winter. You might get sent to like... The, to... to do you get wow. tornadoes in New Jersey, Ford? We did once, to and it knocked out my power for like four Oz. days. It was during the summer, too, so it was really hot. That was the week I saw Jurassic okay, World. That answers my question. <laughs> All right, well, that's going to do it for this week on the BCC Podcast. If you have any comments on LEGO's new theme called Hidden Side, I think they could have done a bit better. I know, name, right? Honestly. What do you think? Sorry. I- I'm glad I'm not the only or one. Or the Lego Ideas sets coming up. Um, What else? What what are sets are coming up, actually, with Lego Ideas? Besides, we just got the Flintstones. What's for the third uh... review for 2018? I have no idea. Mm-hmm. When, oh, is it the treehouse next? Because I oh, really yeah. want to see the, the treehouse. The big one. With the, Must be, because we haven't seen it yet. So it's got to be next. <coughs> um, I'm trying to find... Oh yeah, the Brick Show has a web. The Brick Show updated their logo. The Brick Show is still active. Okay, I, I didn't know. I thought they were kind of I gone. Thought they got I know taken their YouTube channel was. Well. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Well, no, I'm trying no. to find the. Um. I'm trying to find the results. Does no one have? Okay, here's on brick set. Let's see if they say upcoming. I don't think they do. Nope. You know, the Lego community sucks at wikiing. <laughs> so do we. I mean, the only worthwhile yeah, well, Lego wiki look, is... Look, okay, if we were in a wiki, like yeah, a legitimate wiki, I guarantee you, like, look, if I wasn't doing a channel, what I'd probably do was run a quality Ninjago wiki. I'd be partner with Swirt to do the Ninjago Sector 01. I actually think, honestly, I could but then pull it would that take off. Everything if I in your bank just to time. keep it up. Not if I partnered with Swerd, take everything in his yeah, bank. Yeah, but it takes everything in his bank now <laughs> just to keep up with BSO one. He was asking about that one time. He was asking if he were to run Ninjago one, if there would be anyone interested in, like, you know, helping out and keeping it up. But obviously, <laughs> yeah, but I don't takes, have the from, time. From what we've been told, it like takes everything he has just to keep BSO one up and running. So, I don't know. We'd have to see about that. All right, I can't figure out. I know the treehouse is coming at some point, and I'm really looking forward to that. Sadly, I probably won't be able to get it regardless, just like I never got the fishing shack like I was going to. But I, to be fair, I got several other $100 sets instead. I don't know. Hmm. It was a cool set, but Lego's been releasing a lot of cool sets lately. Mm-hmm. I'm almost done with Ninjago Legacy. There's one mainly I need to get. Hmm. I feel like now that no, we've two, talked two, about it, I don't I'm need the gold dragon. into some of those hidden side sets. Again, bad title. But, yeah. I've warmed up to them. So, yeah, leave your thoughts on all of this book. Yeah. So, for Ford, Clenda, Malaris, and myself, LQ, we thank you for listening, and we'll see you on the next episode. Have so a good long. one.